I'm Ryan Nicholas, a junior forward at the University of Portland from Spokane, Washington. Got eat, baby. Inside down to Nicholas. Nicholas tries it himself, and he gets it to roll. As early as I could get a ball. I remember I, see, I saw a picture of myself when I was like three, my first Christmas present, you know, a little Nerf hoop, and me shooting on it, and it started early. Football, uh, but just for two years, freshman and sophomore year of high school, and it didn't last long because I was a quarterback, and we ran the option every play. And if, in the option, you either get hit because you keep the ball, or you get hit because you pitch it. I was a six, seven, you know, option quarterback getting hit in the knees every play. So I was like, I'm either gonna have a short career in football or decide to play basketball. So I chose basketball and hung up the cleats. I wanted to play in college from my freshman year. I didn't know like if I could at that point, but I was like, that's my goal and my dream. You know, it was a decision pretty early in high school. It was like my junior year and I visited the campus for a camp and at the end of the camp they offered me. It was on, you know, the program on the rise uh, with a couple of 21 seasons in a row. So I kind of wanted to be a part of that. The community. I think the University of Portland's kind of, and a lot of schools and conference, they're known for little tight-knit communities. It's huge. I mean, especially with such a long season and the grind, just having a community that's supporting you, it's, it's pretty big. The Commons, it's our cafeteria. Our team hangs out quite a bit on campus, so um, we usually go together and the food there is just amazing. I mean, you can have steak, salmon, and shrimp if you want every night, and it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of neat. My dad comes up for quite a few games. He, uh, his business allows him to not take the winters off, but work a lot more in the summers so he can come down. So he comes down for quite a few of them. And luckily, there a lot of them are on TV or online. So um, mom and relatives see, see all of them. Upbeat and, and lively, energetic. I try to set the tone, set the tempo. You know, encouraging, keeping the keeping the spirits up, and I think that's just something I try to do. It's something you can control every single day. He really prides himself on being a good teammate and being a good captain for our basketball team. Uh, he's a hard worker, which is obvious by his improvement year in year out. But uh, how much he cares about his teammates and how he wants the whole group and individuals to be successful is pretty impressive. The basket jump hook up and in. We said he was the leader of the team, and tonight he certainly is all that. He's done this too. So when he's talking about the grind and talking about um, how to do things right, I can, I, you know, I can say, okay, well, he's not joking. He, he's done this. He's not, you know, just saying that. As a big man, I can even relate even more to him. If you look at it, like, you know, got rocked by Kentucky at Kentucky. But when you look in the perspective, there's 30 plus games in a season. That was one of them. How many people went at Kentucky? In that kind of context, you gotta kind of think, what do we learn from it? Do we get better from playing them so that we can play, you know, better against Pepperdine? So we can play against, you know, San Diego, so we can play against Gonzaga. Did that help us for later? And that's kind of how we try to look at it. I'd love to play overseas and, you know, continue, continue playing, but uh, when I can't play anymore, I wanna go to law school and try to be a lawyer. Nicholas just working so hard. I mean, just a blue collar worker trying to make something happen. I actually talked to Ethan Niedemeyer, and he said that he stopped playing early and went to law school, actually. And he said, no, don't do that. He was really adamant that if you have a chance to keep playing, um, keep playing. And that kind of, you know, in my mind was like, he's trying to do the same thing I'm trying to do. So I think if I have a chance to play, I'll play for sure.